Hey, I'm Chris with Dixie Gunworks. We're here at Media Day, or Industry Day as it's best known, at the 2016 SHOT Show. As you can see behind me, we're standing down on the end of one of the areas where there's plenty of manufacturers that bring in their firearms for anybody and everybody to come down and test that's in the industry, specifically the media. Today we're going to be playing with a lot of different manufacturers' firearms. They bring them down so that we can play with them, touch them, feel them, handle them, go out and manipulate them, do the nomenclature, just to feel it, and then we get to tell everybody what our thoughts are through our YouTube channels, our Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. So today, we're going to be talking with lots of different manufacturers about their stuff. We will be putting thousands of rounds through manufacturers' firearms today, and it just gets a little old by the end of the day. Believe it or not, it does. And so we're going to have a fun day at it. It's going to be a long day. I will tell you, it gets to be, at the very end, a day I'm done shooting. So let's go talk to some of the manufacturers. Hey guys, we stopped at the Aimpoint booth today. We got Magnus with the world's strongest competition. Yeah. It's here. And what he's going to talk about is the H2, what the difference between the H1 and the H2 is. Because we know that they've changed over the years. You guys have seen the H1 that's on my rifle that I've used quite a bit. But Magnus actually uses it for hunting and for doing other things. The H1, as you know, has uh, 90 degrees lenses. And you, you can see this plastic thing popping out of the sight yeah, a bit. the cap. Yeah, the cap, yeah. On the H2, you can see that the angles on the glass is a little bit cutting in like this. You also have standard uh, the protection. Okay. But most important of all is that this one is way clearer. That's the whole beauty of it all. So everything you look through basically going to steal a bit of light away from you. The new optic they use in this one makes everything a bit more clear. If you go from H1 to H2 immediately, you will see this feels way more clear. Nice. What what kind of distance in shots do you use as a hunter over there in Sweden and stuff with these kind of optics? Personally, I mostly hunt wild boar and, and uh, most of the shots will be with, I would say, 120 meters and below. Uh, of course, the perfect distance will be somewhere around 60, 70, 80 meters. Okay. Uh, but saying that, it shoots really accurate on long distance as well. You just have to see the target really well. Yeah. It's, it's not perfect for maybe long distance shooting, but you can still do it. You expect the animal to come up on long distance and you have the wrong side for that. You're, you're going to go ham, empty handed anyway. So I use this for everything. Do you ever use the magnifier that Aimpoint puts out? Do you ever put that behind it? Well, I did a, I did a hunt in, in, uh, here in, in uh, America a few months ago. Well, that was my first try with it. I was surprised how well it worked. But then, of course, the whole key thing with Aimpoint is to shoot with no magnification, is that you shoot with your both eyes open. You just look at the target, you bring up the rifle, and all of a sudden you go to the red dot, hopefully where you want uh, yeah. the bullet to go, and then you squeeze the trigger. So. As soon as you put some magnification on, one eye will become dominant and you lose, you lose basically your other, other eye and with that you will have a hard time to find the depth and, and the, the moving target. Nice. Well guys, we're here again with Magnus at the Aimpoint booth. Magnus, what's your last name and what was your competition name? Hey, my name is Magnus Samuelsson. I used to compete in the World's Strongest Man for uh, between 1995 and 2008. Nice. As you can see, he's just kind of a little guy, but the guns work and the magnifications work and the optics work. I really like it. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, we're over at the Browning booth looking at some of their firearms. I picked up one of these little T-bolts from Browning, little 22. Um, pretty interesting little gun. I like the way that it's set up a little bit differently than most of your normal 22s. The first thing that I noticed is it has a rotary magazine, um, which holds about 10 rounds. Nothing different than we haven't seen before, something that's out of like the Ruger 1022. But for the rotary magazine, it works pretty well when it comes to the 22 long rifle. And on this rifle system, it makes for a smaller magazine spot that's up on the underside, which I like. But the second thing they did is they put one back in the rear stock. So you've got 20 rounds basically with you at any given time. The other thing that I noticed right from the get-go was the fact that this bolt, it comes up in and it locks. And then it ejects when you just pull it back. Just real simple, but it's a locking mechanism that's pretty different from what we're normally used to seeing, but for a 22 where there's not a lot of recoil, it works perfectly. You know, I shot it downrange, as you can see from down behind me, 
And for a little 22, we're still looking at 100 yards, as everybody sees, but it was pretty accurate. Nice little well set up um, firearm. I like the way that it looks. The hydro dipping on it is a little different. It's got the um, bottomland moss bur or mossy oak camouflage to it, which blends in really well, but it looks really good for a small setup for your children, for your adolescents. It's a really nice little setup gun. Oh, 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 oh,